Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations everybody. Today Marty's kind of in charge of where we're going to go next. We have Blue Screens Inc where the victim worked. And we've got Tenderlender, where this guy owes a bunch of money, because a he has- He can't really oh. control- Oh, oh, hi. Well, I'm gonna head back to the precinct now. We've got a big meeting starting in a bit. About Maggie's case, you mean? No, that's pretty much wrapped up now. There's another big case going down at the moment, so she's been pushed aside. Ooh, is that gonna be our next case? That'd be cool. Okay, well, see you later. Bye. The fact that they shut down the computers is weird. Oh, uh, hi. <laughs> you gonna leave? You better get going, detective, or you'll be late. Actually, I, um... I've kinda got a favor to ask. It's a big one. Okay. A favor? Yeah, it's for, um... Maggie. Maggie, actually. I was kinda hoping... You'd give this to her for me. What is it? It's a lunchbox. I got up early so I could make it. Aww. I've been real worried about her. She looks so like she'd Wait, lost a lot of weight. What's oh oh poor thing. Wait, uh, what's in the lunch? Um, rice and sausages. <laughs> that's or, it. <laughs> or it's rice and tomatoes. That's worse. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's worse. That that's worse in our opinion. <laughs> Maybe. Well, no. Which is worse, Fresh sausages or, or or tomatoes? Ugh. I would take sausages over that. I take, ugh, it's, I just if it's cooked it. tomatoes, I might take the cooked tomatoes over. Yeah, I, hate I don't really tomatoes. like sausage. I don't like sausage either. It's just Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> How many weenies are in here? That's not. There's not a person on earth who could down this much meat. You think? I love weenies. I can't get enough of their tender juiciness. So will you give it to her? It took me ages to make. So please say you will, pal. I can't exactly say no, can I? Gumshoe's lunchbox given to Maya <sighs> to carry. Myself if I get hungry. Don't forget, okay? I'm counting on you to give that to Maggie. <laughs> Can we complete the investigation and not give it to her? I don't think so. Okay. He's finally gone. If we wait long enough, will Maya just start eating it spontaneously? I don't think so. Alright, I have decreed we are going to go to Tenderlander. Okay. Oh. My January gosh. 7th, Vitamin Square. Hmm. I don't see any sign of Mr. Kudo, do you? Maybe he went to buy another ton of bird seeds. I was kind of hoping he wouldn't be here anyway. At least not for now. Besides, any more seeds today and I'm liable to turn into a real phoenix. <laughs> Let's steal the bike! <laughs> steal the bike and go there. Hey, check this out! I wouldn't get too close to that if I were you. Otherwise you might be in for a shock. My phony must be lurking someplace nearby. He's like about to go down the slide. He's <laughs> yeah. like hiding in the- hiding in the- just imagine, a tiger loose in the city. Meanwhile, the real phoenix is like an abandoned chick, lost in a vast urban jungle. Huh? Don't worry, someday you'll grow up and become a big ferocious tiger too. Don't lose hope. Why is she trying to pep talk me into becoming my phony? Well, okay. Let's go. This is a boxing ring! <laughs> this is America! <laughs> It's definitely not Japan. What? This it's is... America. Wait a minute. I'm just trying to imagine walking in here like, hey, I'd like to take a loan of like $10,000. And they're like, let's talk about it over here. <laughs> <laughs> You'll give me 50% interest annually. <laughs> Maybe that's why Trabion Man's so buff. <laughs> because he works out here. <laughs> and also doubles as a gym. <laughs> <laughs> so are you here to take out a loan, or are you here to join our gym? Or we both. have one punching bag. <laughs> Everybody fights for it. <laughs> they just keep punching each other. <laughs> okay, sorry. January 7th, Tender Lender. This place gives off a really strange vibe, don't you think? Looks like the tiger isn't in his lair. And that is, as they say, a very good thing. Welcome. Okay. Talk about a creepy voice. It makes your soul want to shrivel up and die. You're here. 
to discuss alone? Uh, no, not exactly. The manager is away at the moment. Wait quietly, please. She also, like, the outfit she wears is, t is really weird. <laughs> it's a little Amish, isn't it's it? It's a little Amish. Mixed with, like, goth. <laughs> it's goth Amish. Goth it's a rare niche. <laughs> yeah, it is weird. She's gone, just like that. I guess we'll just have to come back another time. But this is the perfect opportunity, Nick. The place reeks of suspicion. Come on, Nick. Let's take a look around, okay? Do you think it'd be okay? Of course. No one will ever know. Coffee. Ah! I'll leave it here for you to enjoy quietly. Yes, thank you. Do not touch the desk, please. Nick, let's get out of here. Now she wants to get out of here. Well, what if they laced the coffee? Maybe this is why they died. They have nothing to gain by killing us. No, though. but I'm saying, like, maybe they're the ones in charge of, like, selling potassium cyanide coffee. They're, um, are they just doing, like, a test? Like, yep, that batch works. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way they get away with that. It's, uh, what's this? It's a punching bag. What? No way! You wouldn't catch me walking around with a bag like that. What do you mean, walking around? The design's gross to start with, and it's way too heavy to be practical. And why is it called a punching bag? Don't people know messenger bags are in? I knew it. I was right before, back at Trabion. Paris fashion is more my thing. I really, really hope she's pulling my chain on this one. Well, what's that say? Win through compromise. I wonder what that's supposed to mean. It must mean something if they took the trouble to frame it like that. Went through compromise! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it still doesn't make any sense to me. That... Ah! <laughs> That's Tender Lender's guilt guiding principle. Also their guilting principle. <laughs> their guilting principle. Oh? Compromise the customer to win. Uh, oh, I see. How about you, Nick? Yeah, um, well, as long as we don't have to compromise my hair, I'd say we're okay. <laughs> That's one slogan no business owner should ever explain to their customers. <laughs> is she just hanging out in here while we're looking at all this stuff? Or is she just, like, popping she, she out? She can teleport around, I guess. Let's see. This round doll thing is called a Dorama, I think. Or Daruma? I, I figured I'd read a book or two and be more cultured in case you're wondering. You mean you aren't making stuff up for a change? Heh! <laughs> I bet you also didn't know that no matter what, he'll always write himself. Go on, Nick. Give him a good shove. Only if I feel like dying! Now, this yellow thing, this is a Japanese chess piece. I think it's a king? Not that I'm an expert or anything, I'm more of a reversey person, you know? Assuming she knows what she's talking about, these aren't exactly your typical mobster wannabe items. They're not trophies, are they? Hey! There's a piece of paper sticking out from under here. What is it? A repair bill? Looks like he did some repair work on his car. Does he even have one? $15,000 to replace a bumper and a light? That's insane! The car is registered to... The... Cadaverdies? The Cadaverinis. Cadaverinis? <laughs> Cadaverinis! Woo! <laughs> she <did it. laughs> huh? So it's not even the tiger's car? Why would he, someone else's repair bill be in the tiger's office? Hmm. Okay. Oh, oh, hang on a second. Gumshoe's lunchbox. A tenderly made handmade lunchbox fills the stomach with love and plenty of weenies. weenies. <laughs> repair bill, uh, repair bill for $15,000 paid by Tiger to the Cadaverini family. Okay. Maybe he hit something when they were like, eh. Solid gold oh, hubcaps. Oh, look at that robe. Oh my gosh. Hey, look at this Parisian style coat. It's so chic. Looks more like a pimp coat to me. Guess I haven't got an eye for fashion. Hey, look at this. This suit is the same color as the one you wear, Nick. Totally not a coincidence. Mm, the same color as my suit. Ah! Keep your voice down, Maya! N Nick, you've got to take a look at this. Some cake. Ah! I'll just leave it here for you. Oh, yeah, sure. I, uh, thanks. Just wait here quietly, otherwise. Sh sure! Did you hear that, Nick? Wait quietly, she said. Y yeah, sure! 
I have my eye on you, only so I can take care of you. Understand. Ah! I'm scared, Nick. So? What were you getting so excited about before? Look, on the label of the lapel. The, the lapel. lapel. The lapel of the suit. That's... That's an attorney's badge! Is the tiger a lawyer? No way! Look at this badge! It's made of paper! <laughs> paper, paper badge at a Now you can show that. For some reason, your badge suddenly looks really cheap to me, Nick. Why doesn't anyone recognize an obviously fake badge when they see one? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, no. Someone dropped an ashtray on the floor. That's going to be a nightmare to clean up. Yeah, it's all over the rug and everything. I accidentally knocked over a really big space heater once. Cleaning up was such a pain. It was one of those super antiques where you have to burn a ton of charcoal. How did she manage to knock one of those over? Aren't they supposed to be super heavy? Oh, hey. There's a book of matches here, too. Matches, huh? Places don't give those out much nowadays. Hey, wait a second. What is it? Look what's printed on the back. It says Trabian. Wait, okay, so so the chef has his own restaurant, and he also makes his own matches. I don't know. And his own aromatherapy bottles. Or oh, yeah. Just well, that, one that, that makes sense, though. Yeah. Sense. <laughs> 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 okay, sorry. <laughs> Trabian matches. That was a good one. Okay. These matches could come in handy. We might be able to use them. Yeah. The pilot light for the officer boy- uh, the officer? Officer boiler! boiler. <laughs> uh, reporting for duty, sir! <laughs> the pilot light for the office boiler keeps going out. Swing and a miss, Maya. Swing and a miss. Uh, what about the- yeah. There's a, there's a CD player on the desk, but the desk is so loud, it's a wonder you can hear it. The lid's open. I wonder what kind of music the tiger's into. Have you finished the coffee? Y yes thanks it was lovely so you drank it all <laughs> does it have potassium cyanide in it <laughs> if you touch anything else that doesn't belong to you there is always another cup seriously does this coffee have potassium it's cyanide that coffee? in it it was laced with something I'm almost sure of it Nick my stomach it's killing me! Oh, wait. Maybe it was just the burger I ate for breakfast. Uh, I sure hope so! <laughs> they eat a burger for, for a breakfast. breakfast. I love burgers, I would but I wouldn't eat one for breakfast. One for breakfast. Yeah, That's just either. me. We better take a look at that CD while we're still alive and have a chance. <laughs> what the?! What? It's not the rock- It's not the Rocco soundtrack, is it? Claw of the Tiger? It's the- It's- <laughs> It's a demo CD. Oh. The artist's name has been handwritten on the disc okay. and pen. It's all coming MC together. MC Bomber. It's all coming together. What? This must be the CD Maggie told us about. Let's listen to it. I bet it's heavy metal. No way. <gasps> that woman will make us drink more coffee if we do. <laughs> That's not heavy metal. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it sounds like a dog trying to... <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> MC Bomber adds to the court record. Literally the only heavy metal I listen to is Japanese, so it doesn't sound like normal heavy metal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, dude. I love how Maya doesn't even look surprised. Come out from under the desk, Maya. What are you doing to Snoop and Doyle now in my office for? <laughs> <laughs> nothing. We were just... My precious carpet! You just got ash on my rug! You was gonna wish you ugly feet never came through my door! It wasn't us! It was already like that! You just wanna argue with me? Is that what you's doing? You think you can take me on? I'm gonna flatten you two into pancakes and turn you into my new rugs! Ah! Oh. Don Tiger, you're back. Ah, that voice! It's like evil seeping into your head through your ears. I'm sorry, Don Tiger. I knocked over that ashtray before and... <laughs> she got a death wish or what?! Oh, uh, right. Huh? Forget about it, Violetta. It's not... Vi Violetta? <laughs> what?! 
I ain't gonna get mad at you. You too cute, you hear? That's so unfair! <laughs> well, I think this girl has got everyone wrapped around her finger, so to speak. Like, everyone. Like, either to be super nice or to be afraid of her. And it's just like, here's how you calm the tiger. And he's like, oh! <laughs> just like, happy. Yeah. <laughs> Here, have some cookies. I just baked them. And you'll need some strong espresso while you're discussing your loan. What, to keep up with him? Blah! Phoenix Wright? Y yes You's even crazy or just plain stupid to chase after me. I worked so hard, but now you's gonna come in and mess up my plan. So it was him. He's my phony. Heh, <laughs> but I don't care. No one gets in my way. W what I mean, excuse me? Heh <laughs> You should've left little the little girl at home right. Um, I have a few things I wanna ask- Blah! No questions! This is the last time we meet! Okay. Bye. Ah! Wait! P please! That was pretty weak, Nick. You waited until he was out of earshot before you shouted after him. Like you're one to talk. I didn't hear you scream, HOLD IT, either. <laughs> the espresso. Ah! And cookies. This woman is definitely not good for my heart. Now, what was it the tiger called her? Violetta? Hi! Hi! <laughs> How would you yeah, tell exactly. us about uh, you? So, I'm kind of curious about your company, Tender Lender. With the warm and friendly atmosphere you'd expect from a family-sized business. A conscientious rate of interest and an attractive repayment policy. Why do I get the feeling this sentence is not going to end well? We will tenderly lend you that little bit extra here at Tender Lender. Hey, Nick, things are a little bit tight for Wright and Company at the moment, aren't they? I mean, there's that $500 you owe me from the card game, for starters. Why don't you take out a loan? Would I like to take out a loan from a place like this? Not so much. $500 for a card game? Were they playing poker? She's just <laughs> I like, doubt it. <laughs> and it well, can you imagine Maya playing poker? She's just like, I fooled! <laughs> can you imagine Phoenix playing poker? Uh, uh, d d d it's like, all right, full house, I win. Hold it! Royal flush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Tender lender is on your side. <laughs> is that like the creepiest <laughs> fan <laughs> song ever? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like nationwide. Tender lender's on, on your, your side. side. <laughs> that doesn't rhyme, though. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> so, um, let's say I'm late with my repayment. What happens then? We'd give you more coffee. Strong coffee. Um, right. I think I'd rather skip town. Hey! Just remember I can make strong coffee too, Nick. Strong tea as well. What happened? What happened? <laughs> like, with everything. Everything. <laughs> so, um, do you know about the incident we're investigating? Oh, oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, what the heck is going on here? here? What What's going on here, dear? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what incident? Well, a man was poisoned in a restaurant just near here with that incident. Uh-huh, that was like a month ago. <laughs> Let me see. I was here that day with the manager. She knows what day we're talking about? What is she, telepathic? Ooh. <laughs> or she planned this, the manager being the tiger? Furio Tiger. Furio? <laughs> T tiger? So that's where the tiger fiend comes from. Xeniope's got a real name, Nick! Hurry up and find out more about him! Meanwhile, she's like, Xeniope. <laughs> Ha, ha, Her eyes ha. just, like, look completely through you. Oh, I know who I was thinking of that she reminds me of. Okay, there's this terrifying, um, um, horror game meets dating simulator. Oh, what? oh, um, Doki 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 Literature. Doki Literature Club. She looks like that Yuri. That is messed up. Yeah, she looks like Yuri if Yuri was small. And didn't have blue hair. No. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Have you seen that game? It's so it's messed, messed up. It's messed up. That, I, I watched... Last year, how I much really... of it did you watch? I got through <laughs> death one, no death two, death two, death one. They death can two. happen in any order, can't they? I got through. The... Did you see her, Dad? Yuri? No, I didn't. Thank goodness. I didn't. That is incredibly I, disturbing. I made sure to skip that. I saw the girl though that had the rope 
around her. I was like, ah! Like, it was really late at night when I saw that. I'm like, I'm not going to be sleeping. Not going to be sleeping. Uh, meanwhile, our, <laughs> meanwhile, our brother literally told me when I was visiting him, like, hey, I really want to get this game. It'd be fun. I'm like, what are you doing? But he really wanted to play it, apparently. What? Not, not Link. Other. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, it'll be so fun. I'm like, what is wrong with you? Yeah, oh, I kind of made Samus sure. Samus X, what were you thinking? Yeah, I just made sure to like avoid. I figured her death would probably be worse. Oh, because even like, I was like disturbed by Yuri's ugh. death. I just uh, doesn't she, doesn't she like stab herself or something with like a dementedly happy smile on her face? It's <sighs> super okay. creepy. <laughs> yeah, I remember she was like the one where it's like I really like poetic sadness. I'm like this girl is gonna be so bad. Hey, I'm an attorney. Did you know this? <laughs> um, about this. More coffee? You must have more. No, uh, thanks. I've had enough. Really? I'm so thirsty. I don't leave the office. I can't tell you about anything except Don Tiger. What, is she like Is his a name vampire? Furio or Don? I think, <laughs> I think that she is a vampire. And when she Like leaves, an actual honest to goodness vampire? This isn't Professor if Layton. She, no, if she's a vampire. No, because you've only seen her inside buildings and she can warp. And she's the palest skin, and she wears all black, and her head's wrapped up from the time she walked outside in the sun. <laughs> that one time. <laughs> that one time. <laughs> Do you want some fake lobster? No. no. <laughs> okay. Hey, I, I've seen his sweet rot. Oh, come on! That's his scooter! You totally know about that. Yeah, we stole it. Yo. All right, fine. Wait, no, tell us. Try the potassium cyanide. Oh. Ah, man. More coffee with potassium cyanide. Hey, you know, I've got coffee for you. <laughs> nope. I mean, I did. we did just give her a cup. That's Can you true. put some coffee the in The paper it? badge. Found a tender hey, lighter, made like of cardboard, and should... painted to look authentic. Hey, if you like it, then you should put more coffee in it. <laughs> if you like it, then you should. <laughs> Drop it. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. What we gonna do? <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, hang yeah, on. show oh, her. Oh, hang on. How show old is she? To... We will see. Ambiguous? Yeah, ambiguous. Ooh, she is a vampire. Um, about this. Yeah, you must tell us about yourself. Come on, it's common She's courtesy. Not tell anything about He's 42? You either look really young or really not. And I can't. Well, he's orange, so it's yeah. hard to tell. Yeah. Can I ask you about the tiger? I mean, Mr. Tiger? Cookie? Sure. How do you like my cookies? I bake them myself. My, my smell. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Nick. The honor is all yours. No, no. Ladies first, Maya. <laughs> no matter how I look at this, I just don't get it. What is the tiger and the scary girl doing working together? We are lovers. That's so? <laughs> she's apparently- That's not exactly coming across in your tone of voice. <laughs> and I owe Don Tiger my life. He's the one who saved me. Oh, maybe, maybe he hit her family with, uh, her family, her, oh, her the family. car, no, there was the car bill. So maybe like he scooter and he's like, Doo! and I don't know why the scooter won against the car in this <laughs> fight with the scooter. Yo, like, dude, I just reinforced my scooter with titanium. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't what you do. No, scooter wins against car. And he's like, oh, uh, uh, and he like pays. For the, I, why did he sound like Tarzan for two seconds? <laughs> <laughs> um, he's swearing. Um, yep. No, but then he saves the girl, and like that's why her head's bandaged. And then he also pays for the car repairs. Rest of her family's dead. <laughs> <laughs> just, just gone. She's like, I owe him my life. This is kind of like a cross between April and like Darja. If a they made a Trials and Tribulations movie, <laughs> Aubrey Plaza would have to oh, play yeah. this girl. Yeah, April from Parks and Rec, not just like the month of april i she said is... aubrey plaza not yeah. april <laughs> i said april that's why i was clarifying <laughs> the tiger saved you please address him properly as don tiger otherwise i'll have to okay okay don tiger of course i'm sorry he saved her life i'd sure like to know how that happened well one day when i tried to stab myself after reading someone's nope. terrible <laughs> essay <laughs> <laughs> i'm very Frail, you see. Yeah. This is literally are Sailor you, Saturn. Are you anorexic by any chance? Because, like... Eek. Look at how thin her arms are! I mean, it's not completely uncommon for people to Okay, I'm so, Okay, I'm sorry. Look how big her hand is. 
In your comparison... Hand, in comparison to your face, your hand is supposed to be able to cover your face. I have a big face. <laughs> Not quite. But look how tiny that is. That wouldn't cover her face, like, at all. Mm-hmm. Just recently, I died once. <laughs> you died?! About four months ago. The doctor said to abandon all hope. I guess they were expecting her to take a boat ride across the river Styx. But Don Tiger, he saved me. He gave up everything. What is this like? Was she going to die and he's like, I'll give you my kidney stone! <laughs> Your kidney stone?! You don't want that! <laughs> Just kidney stone! Just kidney! kidney. <laughs> I'll give you my kidney. That would be like one of the worst things you could do to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, otherwise it's like, did he pay for her medical bills? And then he's like, I gotta make loans. He just so prayed people... really hard. That doesn't happen. <laughs> it could. Game. It could. Can you imagine that guy praying? He can't sit. He'd be like, Yo, God, uh, I, I really like this to happen. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to mock prayer. No, but... Everything? When I found out what he had done for me, I was happy. No offense, but I'm finding that a little hard to believe. I decided I'd pay him back with my life by serving him coffee and espresso. Those maybe, are the same thing. Maybe, um, she's like the vampire slave. <laughs> like he gave her... No, no! <laughs> this could be the thing. She was dying, and he's like, I have blood type O! Negative! Which is the one that can the give to everyone. Donor. Yeah, the universal donor. And then she's like, well, now that you've given me my blood, I will give you all the coffee. I don't know. Don't... <laughs> Somehow I feel like this would be better than any vampire film. It would be better than Twilight, for any sure. Any vampire film. I'm not really a vampire person, but I feel like I could write a better script than some... All you have to do is make vampires like actual monsters and not like... We glitter. We glitter? <laughs> <laughs> I still wonder about Vampires. what's in her coffee. We glitter. So, is that why you've got that bandage around your head? <laughs> this. The head bandage. It's just stylistic. So, what's the story behind with the bandage? They put it on after the operation. Operation? It's just a little injury. A little... Fatal injury. A <laughs> uh, fatal injury? Maya just suffered one herself by the sound of it. So that's the injury you were talking about before when you said you had died once? She's just like, I never died. This is just my sob story. Whoa! There's a lot on there. I mean, that would make sense, though, because she's also like the... <sighs> I'm gonna... Br broad. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna broad over this. <laughs> uh, she really creeps me out, Nick. Same here, but we've got to find out the truth. We don't have, we don't enough. have enough. We don't have the stuff. Let's go look at the... Uh... Let's go to the circus with Mickey Mouse and friends. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, is Pigeons back? January 7th, Vitamin Square. There he is! Old CD's back feeding the pigeons again. There! Take this! And this! And get out of my park! Like I thought, he's really mad. Come on, Maya. Just keep your head down and let's sneak away while we can. What? Why? Hello, old man! What are you doing, Maya? Huh? Tah! Hey, he just turned his back on us. I'm not surprised. I bet he. We, I really hurt his pride in court this morning. Hey, Mr. Kudo! Pigeon! Look, we really need to talk to you, alright? Out with the demons! In with good fortune! Ow! Oh, 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 oh! Seeds! Shell splitters! Painful. I always knew you were a demon, Maya. Well, at least he's talking to us. Also, why won't he just use his other sleeve? He's like, let me hold... It's like Howl. Howl oh, doesn't yeah. really use his sleeve. Howl doesn't use his sleeve. He's just like... <sighs> Too cool for that. Oh, I love Howl's Moving Castle. So um, good. I'm sorry about what happened in court earlier today. Oh, you're not. Ha! Everyone will be talking about me behind my back now. A dirty old man who was so busy looking at the servant girl's backside that he can't remember her face. A filthy, depraved animal! No, no, not at all. Are you a 
listening to me, boy? I don't care what you say. I saw that waitress put it in. She put in some white powder into that young lad's Java Chino. Well, dude, wait, 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 wait. When was the fatal accident that the gal had? Did she say? She hasn't said. She hasn't said? This is what could happen. Maybe she, uh, how long was her hair? It was like a little past her shoulders. Maybe she had it short and then she was the one dressing up as Maggie, poisoned. Ooh, poisoned it. And then like when she did that, people like fought back or something and then she had this like fatal accident the month last month because she still has the bandage on her head it must have happened recent ish okay but and maggie was just evaporated at that point because she was maggie the... would have been knocked out from what her they... maggie would have told us about <laughs> that <laughs> maybe maggie didn't forgot about it uh-huh. There's a lot of time, yo, Artie. There's a lot of times that it's like, oh, I forgot about this really important detail. It's like, why, why <laughs> did you do this? We hear you. And another thing, the young layabout was wearing an earpiece on the same side as the lens of his broken spectacles. We we're really sorry. So I made a little mistake about the vase. So what? I know what I saw. I tell you. I tell you. I tell you. Okay, okay. Take it easy, please, Mr. Kudo. Don't tell me to take it easy, you spiky-haired brat! Take this! Well, then. <laughs> um, you said you were a craftsman, right? Ha! The modern world casts honest craftsmen like me aside like in droves! Surely it's not that. I come from a long line of craftsmen, right back to the time of the Shoguns. Do you hear me? I didn't become an embroiderer. I was born one! Actually, I'm kind of in the same situation myself. I... I... I wanted to stick my fingers in that dribbling old judge's nose and scream right down his ear hole, OBJECTION! Oh, so did you want to become a lawyer when you were young? I don't think that's quite it, Maya. I think he's just in a bad mood, that's all. I've got a tsunami of frustration inside and it's ready to burst out! If we let him start rambling now, we might never shut him up. What should I do? Cut in, what suck if, it up. Oh man, what if it was the, um... What if it was like a forever loop of dialogue and it's like, oh, game over, and it's just like him like... Blah, 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 forever. <laughs> um, actually, we've got places to go, things to check and stuff. Maybe another time? Fine, whatever. Just don't forget, I've got a tsunami's worth of grumbling to do. Yes, yes. This girl right here is really looking forward to hearing it all. Honest. What? I never said that. Come to the place where I work, then. Here, bring this along with you. What is this? It's covered in seeds. A discount coupon for a burger? He really wants someone to grumble at, huh? Although it is a burger joint. Unfortunately, we don't actually get that and we can't go to his place of work. I was really confused and disappointed about that. What? <laughs> Oh. Guess I better let him talk. So, there's not much call for craftsmen these days, then? Of course not, you idiot! All I'm good for nowadays is running errands! Errands? Everyone takes advantage of the elderly. Buy some red gramps, take the dog for a walk, granddad, feed the pigeons, old man. What am I, some sort of two-bit community handyman? Um, well... Buy some bread. Now that I can understand. But what's the point of feeding some seedy pigeons? Why don't people say what they mean? Get lost! That's what they're trying to say! Oh yes! Just an inconvenience, you see. At home, at that restaurant, I just get in the way, don't I? I I'm, I'm sure you don't. Wait a minute. What did he just say? At home and at that restaurant? Hold up. By restaurant, are you talking about Trabion? Did you get asked to run an errand there too? Yes, I did! The very day that young brat was poisoned! Maybe it was- WHAT?! <laughs> Maybe it was like, going out to get the coffee! And then he just wasn't there the whole time, and he's like, this stupid thing happened. So on the day of the incident, what were you asked to do? Glad you asked, boy, because I'll tell you what I was asked to do. All of a sudden, that young lad slumped over the table. The serving girl collapsed. And I broke that vase. It all happened so fast, I was in a bit of a daze, you see. Sure. Then the owner shouted over to me. Excuse moi you, call the police. Call them your- Call them yourself, I should have said. But I didn't think of it at the time. So, did you end up calling the police? 
No. Like I said, I was in a bit of a daze. Did you call them on your cell phone? Ka! Do I look like I have one of those newfangled jigs? I went out looking for a payphone, of course. You went out looking for one? I couldn't find one right away, you know. Wandered around for five minutes or so. Five minutes? So for five minutes after the incident happened... Yes, sirree! The owner was at Trabian on his own. Um... Why didn't you mention this in court this morning? Well, I would have if you'd given me the chance! But all you bullied me out of the courtroom! We gave you 50 chances! <sighs> Thank you, Mr. Kudo. You've certainly earned your kudos for today. Wait! Wait a minute! If that's the case, there's more! I've got more to say! Oh yes! I remembered something else. Bailiff, escort the witness out of the courtroom. Since it happened five times. It's not my fault! You're the ones to blame! You could have at least told us before we got to court. Is it really that important that Mr. Kudo was the one who called the police? Yes, because Mr. Ooh was in the... <laughs> was in the, um... The the, 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 the the restaurant, all by himself. He could have been like, switch out the poison, put the poison in here. After he was dead? Yeah, no, but I'm saying, like, the poison could not have, it, maybe it wasn't in her pocket. And then he's like, duh, oh. duh, all the lone shark people are here. <laughs> <laughs> What's important is the unaccounted time before the police arrived. The victim was dead. And Maggie was unconscious. Exactly. Which leaves that woman, I mean that man, alone in the restaurant. Yeah, he could have done whatever. Mr. Kudo might have been chased out of the place on purpose. Yeah. What do you mean? Maybe a certain someone didn't want him in the restaurant. Ah. Uh. Oh, sure! You go ahead and say I was in the way as usual. I suppose I should have been getting myself covered in pigeon poop instead, huh? We need to get more details about what exactly happened. From Maggie... And from Mr. Armstrong. And from the other place. But we'll have to do that what? next time. Don't we have a lot more time? Um, we've already gone over the half hour. Uh, oh. We're close to 40 minutes. Okay. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Tune in next time. We'll go to Blue Screens Incorporated. Mwah. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> anyway, I look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.